This next episode of Overworked History is about the whale ship Essex, the inspiration for Moby Dick. The Essex was built in Massachusetts and was launched in 1799. She had three masts and was 87 feet long. It is believed she originally served as a merchant ship before being converted into a whaler. The Essex was based in Nantucket and was considered a successful and even lucky ship. That would begin to change on August 2nd of 1819. On that day, the Essex left Nantucket for a three-year voyage to the Pacific. Her captain, George Pollard Jr., had never before captained a ship. Two days into the journey, the ship was nearly wrecked in a storm, and she lost two boats used to harpoon whales, called whaleboats. Some on board believed this was a bad omen, but the ship carried on. The first whale was spotted near Rio, two months into the voyage. The ship rounded Cape Horn in early 1820 and reached Ecuador in September of 1820. They also stopped at the Galapagos Islands and captured almost 200 tortoises. One crew member also set nearby Charles Island on fire, destroying the entire island's wildlife. On November 20th of 1820, the Essex was 1,500 nautical miles from the Galapagos when whales were spotted. They sent out three whale boats, but one was damaged and was forced to return. While repairs on it were underway, the first mate, Owen Chase, spotted a whale 85 feet long, turned towards the ship, and charged. The whale smashed into the ship's hull, rocking the ship and creating a massive hole in its side. The whale swam under the ship for a few minutes before leaving. While repairs began on the Essex itself, the whale returned, twice the speed as before. It hit the ship's front and disappeared for good. The men on board rushed to save all they could before the Essex capsized. The captain, who had been out at sea in a whaleboat, returned to find a ship ruined. The men initially felt it best to sail to the Society Islands, but were concerned about cannibals. They sailed south, and after several weeks at sea, the situation turned desperate. After months of float, the men were rescued by two ships, an English ship and an American ship. There were eight survivors in total. Captain Pollard became very reclusive on the accident's anniversary, especially because his cousin was among the dead. In the 1850s, Herman Melville interviewed the captain, which helped to inspire Moby Dick. The Essex was one of the most famous maritime accidents of its day, and its legacy lives on in Moby Dick. Thank you.